All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. Today, we're going to be watching Avatar Book 3, Episode 3. Um, I am having a blast. We are in the middle of the Fire Nation. We're hiding. We're undercover. Aang just went to school, had a great dance, made the cutesy eyes at Katara. Everything's going great. And then we ended with Zuko paying some scary guy with a weird Illuminati eye thing to go after Aang. Don't know what that means. So uh, I'm excited. I am loving this this book, this season so far. I just want to get straight into it. So as always, full length reactions up with the Patreon. The next reaction episode four is up for some early access on the Patreon. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, all that being said, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, hopefully you stick around. I would love to have you guys around. Um, almost at 10k subs. So feel free to join the club. And all that being said, let's just get into Avatar book three, episode three. Previously on Avatar. Okay, so when is the eclipse? That's my question. How close are we to the eclipse? Or is that literally going to be the finale of this season? The Painted Lady. Could that be, like, makeup? Am I crazy for thinking something like that? You know what I mean? Hey, guys. Uh, I think this river's polluted. Dude, well, why did you put it all over <laughs> us? Dang, Ang. Well, that explains why I can't catch a fish around here. Normally, my fishing skills are off the hook. <laughs> you know, I don't know about your fishing skills, but your jokes are great, Sokka. Food. Assuming that'll fit into Sokka's master schedule. Okay. Hmm. Guys, there is nothing wrong with having a schedule. I swear, people roast Sokka Maybe for, like, the worst reasons. There. Now you look just like a little hill with horns. Yeah, you know, all those little hills with horns in the Fire Nation. That's just... Oh wow, actually he looks really good. <laughs> Never mind. My name's Doc. Mind if I ask who you are? Uh yes, we do. Um from the Earth Kingdom colonies. Well, hop on. I'll give you a ride into town. Cool. I I don't know what to think about this. At least that's how it was before the factory moved in. Oh dang. Moved in a few years ago and started gunking up our river. Yeah, you're telling me. Thanks for the ride. We have to do something hmm. to help. Poor people. We can't waste our time here. We have a bigger mission that we need to stay focused on. Look, it's horrible to say, but I kind of agree with Sokka. We're in wartime. You're back on them? How can you be so cold and heartless? It's not about I'm that. Not we have a bigger cause. If we can beat the Fire Nation. Come on, Katara. Be reasonable about this. I, yeah, you know I, I, I actually agree with Sokka. I guess so. It's hard. Let's it's really hard. We need and go. Also, I like the fact that Aang's headband is still, like, the completion of his era. I think it's kind of cool. I'm not Doc. I'm Shu. But we just saw you. Okay. You've been wearing <laughs> the only difference is your hat. Well, that's a big difference. So what can I get you? Wait, is it actually the same guy or what? I'm very confused. <laughs> what is happening? Fish, I'll throw in a clam for free. Yeah. Ugh. Mind telling your brother we need to ride back to shore? Hey, Colonials. <laughs> My brother. Okay, so you're just... Crazy? Okay, maybe crazy is a harsh word. Can you spare some food? Oh, jeez. Poor little kid. Crikey, this is dark. Our detour into town today has completely thrown off our schedule. It looks like we'll need to wake up 43 minutes earlier every day. 43 minutes? Hey, he's being exact, all right, man? I don't blame him. If we want to make up the time and stay on schedule, we have to wake up early. I'm not waking up early. <laughs> Guys, we're talking about saving the world. I think Appa's sick. Oh no. I might as well just throw our schedule away now. I like how his schedule is like not even properly drawn. It looks like a digital animation. He must have gotten sick from being in the polluted water. You okay, buddy? Uh, yeah. What is wrong with his tongue? That can't be good. Katara, can you heal him? He looks very sick to me. Maybe we can find the right herbs in town. Does this place seem different? Yeah. Are the people happier? Katara, did did you do something? Something amazing happened last night. Food was delivered to our village. The painted lady. It's Katara. Out of our town's lore. They say Isn't she's it? a river spirit who watches over our town in times of need. Or or not? I'm confused. Sorry. All the medicine we have goes to the factory. Looks like we need to stay another night so Appa can rest. This is totally Katara. Never mind. Never mind. She just exposed herself. 
Yeah, look, look, this is water bending. Totally water bending with the steam. Get out of here. It, she's pulling a blue spirit on us, man. Uh, we've already seen this done before. Whoa, that was cool. I love the animation regardless. This is stunning. Oh, that's cool. You painted lady. Hmm. I knew it. That's so cool. Okay. I do have to say I love the design of the painted lady with the pa with the paint. I know it sounds dumb, but like the body paint, it just it looks beautiful. Our friend is still sick and we can't leave until he's better. If you guys are lucky, the painted lady will visit you in the night and heal your friend. Ew. Last night she visited us again, healed most of our sick folks. It's all because of the painted lady. Okay, but what if the factory finds out? Won't they like come back or something? If she really wanted to help, she would use her spirit magic to blow up that factory. Oh, crikey. Oh, kill me now. That that's spirit not magic doesn't work that way, Sokka. What she needed to hear. That was a cool shot. I love this show. Hmm. What's the matter, buddy? No, 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 no. Hello, painted lady spirit. Shoot. Aang is gonna catch up to you unless you play the part. That's the only thing I can think of. But I'm the great bridge between your world and mine. Ah! Dang it, you've taught him too well, Katara. Huh, that was cool. Whoa, that's a cool shot. Hey! See, this animation in season three is just amazing. Uh oh, crikey, that's scary. He pulled the Spider Man on us or something. I wish I could talk, but I am very busy. Where did that voice come from, Katara? You're really pretty for a spirit, but the ones I do meet, not very attractive. <laughs> okay, but why are you hitting on this one? Familiar too. A lot of people say that. No. You really seem familiar. A lot of people say that, too. Katara? You're the painted lady? Come on, guys. This was... Since everyone thought that's who I was anyway, I guess I just kind of became her. Oh, that's cool. That makes sense. Because I was like, why did she... Did she know about the lore or something? Is Appa even sick? He might be sick of the purple berries I've been feeding him. I can't believe you lied to everyone so you could help these people. Well, I think it's great. What? If you want to help, there's one more thing I have to do. I don't know about that, actually. I, I don't agree with that. You want to destroy this factory? Can we bring whole Team Avatar on this so we're not lying about it? Getting rid of this factory is the only way to help- Also, that's not true because the Fire Nation will come back, right? I think Sokka's correct. It's not about this stupid factory, it's about the whole Fire Nation. Oh dang. Regardless, I want to see this factory go down. Oh! Oh my gosh! Katara as the Painted Lady looks so cool though. Oh yeah, baby! Dang! Shh. We don't want to wake Sokka. Hmm. You're the painted lady. You've been lying about Appa and feeding him herbalizing tongue berries. Uh, <laughs> and how long did you know about this? Hey, I just found out this. <laughs> Whoa. Guys. Oh, no. They're just going to take it out on the town. This poor town. I kind of destroyed their factory. You what? <sighs> Did you even think this through? No. The army's gonna blame the villagers. They're headed there right now to get revenge. Yeah. I mean, look, I understand where Katara's coming from. I really do, but... I will never, ever turn my back on people who need me. I'm going down to the village, and I am gonna do... I don't know, man. I really don't know. I'm coming too. I thought you didn't want to help. He doesn't, but if we're gonna do it, let's do it together. He really does have a heart, doesn't he? Uh huh <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm not smiling. You steal our food, our medicine, and then you destroy our factory. Uh, wrong way around, buddy. The painted lady brought us <laughs> food. She's oh, the one that healed us. No. Oh, no. 
The mysterious painted lady did it. I suppose she drew the army emblem on your containers too. Wait, maybe she shows up as the painted lady. It'll help. Whoa, no. Where's your painted lady now? Right there. Oh, okay. That was kind of cool shot though. But, oh, no. Oh, oops. Oops. Look at that. Where's it coming from? Something strange is going on. <laughs> it's like a horror movie, except we're rooting for the bad guys. She's coming. Ah! There is no painted lady. Start singing a creepy song, little kid. It'll be just like a horror movie. Huh? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that looks so epic. That's <laughs> just so sick. It's like a horror movie. This is awesome. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Dang. Come on, Katara. Whoa. What? That was freaky. Never come back. Well done, man. Well done. That was epic. Yeah, painted lady. Wait a minute. I know you. You're that colonial girl. You've been tricking us. You're a waterbender. Oh, no. Because of her, that factory won't be polluting your river. You should be down on your knees thanking her. But will they? They're Fire Nation. Why would they? I felt like I had to do something. You can't wait around for someone to help you. But what should we do? Rebel, man. Maybe. Can clean the river. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, tough. You're not so bad for a waterbender. You wouldn't mind keeping that a secret, by the way, would you? Yeah, let's not tell anybody. Keeping my mouth shut is a personal specialty. My brother Shu, on the other hand. Oh. Now oh, here we go. I'm going to get my other brother Bushi. He loves cleaning rivers. All right. I'm. <laughs> he doesn't even change his voice, man. He's just Bushi. You switched hats and called yourself a different name. You know who does that? My brother, Doc. Huh. He's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, that's cool. That is so cool. <gasps> what the heck? The actual painted lady? Thank you. Oh, that was dope. That was dope. That was so cool. That was such a cool ending. Um, that was an interesting episode. I think it brought up an interesting conflict. And I know I was kind of going back and forth in the middle of the episode. But it's something that's interesting to think about. Where I I don't know what to do, right? Like, like, what do you do in that situation where you have, hey, we can do some good here and we can really help people. Or we should be fighting for the greater good, right? And I don't, I, I like how we dealt with both points of view. And I don't. I was going to say, I don't know which one is right. I'm not actually sure either is necessarily. I think it just depends on the situation. But I think it's interesting that we have that conflict. I think it also very much fits Sokka and Katara's character. Of Katara is very loving and compassionate. Um, you know, and, and I think that's beautiful. It's something that I love about her character. And you've seen that throughout the whole show. Is that she's always been this kind of loving... Um, almost like like mother figure, I want to say. And it's just her compassion that's shown through. It's how she connected with Aang. It's how, uh, you know, she's always helped Aang and any, any of these people in these situations. Even in the group, she's almost like that caretaker dynamic um, for Toph and, and Sokka and Aang. And so to see that, uh, the two different approaches of their two different personalities where Sokka is, you know, he doesn't get enough credit. He's very smart and he's very tactical. Um, sometimes a little cold, a little unfeeling. But he is 
trying to think of, of bigger things and the bigger picture and things like that. And even when he does come to Katara's side, it's because he he's like, look, I will always stand by you. That's my first loyalty before my 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 town or my country or whatever, whatever you call them in this, my nation um, or my my world, I always stand by you because you're my sister and I love you. And I think that's cool to see kind of their different thought processes almost and like how that all works. The Painted Lady is just cool. Like the design of that is cool. The storyline of that is cool. Um, I love kind of little tidbits of culture and world building there. It 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 just sort of makes me incredibly happy. <laughs> I can't describe it. Um, it's it's the charm of of Avatar: The Last Airbender, really. I think is what it is, and it's just awesome. So yeah, I am just having an absolute blast with this this show. Um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for joining us for watching. Let me know. Let's not argue about it, but like, let me know who you think was was kind of more correct. What approach you like better, Sokka's or Katara's in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you're new here, uh, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. We would love to have you. Um, almost at 10K subs, so feel free to join the club. And yeah, all that being said, if you do, if you do decide to stick around, uh, we will see you all in the next video.